What's going on YouTube? JT here. Uh, it's nice and early out here in Reno, Nevada. Um, gonna be making some coffee right now. I figured I'd do a cool little video for you guys today. I saw uh, Outlaw Dipper's uh, video for his uh, Copenhagen can lid uh, fishing lures and uh, I thought it was pretty cool so I figured I'd give it a try. So that's what I'm gonna do but uh, the problem is is like his lures were for uh, he went bass fishing with them and I'm in Reno Nevada we just we got some bass ponds here but they're not really hitting all the time and we just use jigs and stuff like that for them we never really use lures for the bass here but uh, the main fishing that I do here is river fishing pond fishing where they stock stock them with trout so mainly we're catching a lot of brown trout uh, rainbow trout hybrid trout cutthroat lahunt and cutthroat trout so I figured I'd try to make some can lid uh, Copenhagen lures but trout style maybe see if we could catch a few trout with them so uh, I'm just gonna put some coffee in the Keurig here and get this going so we'll see you guys out at the shop everyone uh, we're going out into the shop right now uh, last time you guys actually saw what was going on I was only I got done building those uh, wasted space storage shelves and uh, from Love the cat. Oh, just watching some mode across here um, doing a little bit of work out here but yeah let me show you guys what I did so you guys might remember those that's what I had up last time was these ones here, uh, workbench, um, put the TV up. Just built this little shelf yesterday just cause I didn't really have a shelf for myself. But uh, put that one up as well, which got rid of a lot of this stuff. And then I got the uh, hideaway ones for behind the garage door. Came out pretty sweet, you know? I mean, I need to go through some of these boxes because a lot of these boxes are half full. So if I just, you know, one day take all these boxes back down, go through them, organize them, I'd be able to get rid of all this stuff and eliminate probably like 50% of the boxes. So eventually one day, you know, there will be no stuff out, which will be nice. But either way, it's looking good in here. So... Let's get into this can lid fishing lure, huh? Alright, so clearly the first thing you're going to need is an empty can, a couple of these. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys stuff that's going to kind of pop this can lid off so everything's just right. And then another thing, you, and some of the things that, that I figured you're going to need, so I went ahead and grabbed, um, I got some BBs in here, which I'll show you guys how I'm going to use them, kind of use them for some weights, got some treble hooks here, and then uh, some of these swivels here, that's what I'm going to use to make some lures. So, let's get at this. So here's a can lid, right? You're going to want to cup it in your hand like this, have a little arc to it, right? So you bend it like so, and just keep working it. And it's going to bend all weird, but that's what you want. See how long this is gonna take. I'm not too good at it, like Outlaw. You know, they pop it off pretty quick, but from what I'm guessing, they probably, you know, jack off a lot more than I do. <laughs> I actually got a chick, so it takes me a minute to pop these things off. So yeah, you're just gonna push down, twist, same thing, just like that. But don't bend it too hard because you'll just, okay, that's what you're gonna hear. Now I'm just using the BBs for the weight because I noticed on that last video they were using other lures and kind of just wrapping these around and I didn't really want to use a fishing lure, you know, to just make one with the camera. I figured I'd try to do it for just this. Okay, so let's uh, oh, not drop BBs. Pinch this side. Okay. Alright, now let's bend this over. Oh, copy. Now, baby down. Come on. Let's try that. 
Yeah, so when I saw that last video, I just thought, oh, man, you know, I like that idea. Let's try something like that. Okay. So I just want to pinch it. I'm going to fold it in over. So it's going to do something to this side. Now, the bad thing is, it's here in Rio right now. We just had a massive flood. The Truckee River we had is like 60 feet deep in some spots, and it's raging like crazy. So the bad thing is, we can't really do too much fishing right now, so I can't really try these out for another week or so. But, check that out. It's a little crooked, but maybe it'll swim nice. So my idea was, like, out here, I like to use cast masters and spoons. So I figured I'd kind of just try to go for that size, you know, and to me that's kind of like a spoon size. Okay, so yeah, I've got some decent weight to it, and it's got a little, little rattle to it, which is pretty badass. So, now, next step, we're going to drill some holes. Now, I'm thinking when, I, don't, I shouldn't do it below and low, because then it won't swim right, so I think I'm going to do the swivel up top here, and the hook down here. So let's try that. Definitely going to be needing some tools for this drill. Okay, I think I'm going to do the swivel up here. So the swivel's gonna go, so let's put the hook down here. Okay. Now, let's try to get one of these swivel hooks on here. Without getting stabbed. <laughs> I'm guessing this part's probably going to be kind of hard to get. Oh, 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 Something's stopping me. What's going on here? Yeah, I figured I'd have a little bit of trouble trying to do one of these. I think I'm not sure if this one's big enough, but I don't, I don't really want to make it any bigger than it already is, so. There we go. Just gotta give it a little shake. Oh, nope. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not where I want it. I think we got through the whole kitchen with crack here. So yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Sucks as I'm thinking that. I always make it a little bit bigger, but I don't want to make it bigger. And there we are. Alright, well. There is a coat name, Cameron. Drop me. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and make a few more. See how they come out, huh? Alright everybody, so I went ahead and made a few more. There's the first one I did. It came out, you know, a little funky. First one, you know, kind of just going from that one. But, and then I made this one, which was nice, a little bit smaller. Not too shabby. And so I grabbed, these were the camo can lids. I went ahead and grabbed a normal one. And this one came out perfect. I figured, you know... Instead of doing it up here at the top, I should just do it in the middle with this at the bottom so it will swim right, you know, but other than that, there it is. Copenhagen can lid fishing lure. Next thing to do is just catch a fish, give it a try. But uh, if you guys like the video, uh, subscribe, like, comment, still doing that mud jug giveaway and can lid giveaway. You know, got to have them mud jugs. But, uh, yeah. So those are pretty cool. I can't wait to give them a try. If you guys end up making some, uh, let me know. Let me know how they went. I won't be able to use these for probably about a week or so. But if you guys make some and go fishing, let me know how they work. Well, like, subscribe, comment, whatever.